We are back with Melanie and James Iverson as we are talking about giving our bathroom a remodel. I think a lot of people, this is, this is one of the big features in a home, they say um, that you get more you know, return on, correct? Yes, you do. You know, and right now the housing market's fascinating. I mean, I think that there's there's a lot more need than there is availability of homes. But if you want your home to stand out and you want that top dollar amount, um, really people are looking at your kitchen and your bathroom because they're the biggest pains to renovate. And so if you want to spend a little money, those are the two places I think most people are going to want to to fit up and to make at least update a little bit. Okay, and we have some more pictures. So let's put up some of the pictures and have you explain what we're looking at. Yeah, so we've got, um, I'll just wait to see what we have. I thought we had more. We just had the, oh, okay, I thought we had more. Okay, so explain what was done here. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So I'm sorry, Lisa, what was your question? I thought we had another, I thought we had more pictures, but we just have the two. So you know what, I wanna go back to the, the after from the bathroom that we showed, because during the break I asked uh, Heidi, I said, what, what are they saying? What are they saying that you decided to put a, a niche in the yeah. back? And I was like, what, what is she talking about? Yeah, yeah, so you know, to make that space bigger, there were really a couple pretty intentional design things that I considered and then that James was able to execute for the project. The niches in that back is that little, it's that little box where you can see on the left side um, uh, where there's the blue penny tile on that back wall. And then we have the second niche is on that very back wall. And that's where our shampoo bottles, um, face wash, razors, whatever, that's where all of that goes. And um, a lot of times we'll put shelves in those niches, but because of the size of this, this shower, we actually just wanted it to be more open so that you could, you know, as James says, you could dry up <laughs> inside that space. But what it does is it also creates an illusion that it's much deeper than that than that shower actually is because the dark color on that tile pushes that back. So it really it comes across as a much larger space than it is um, for for a standard shower like that. Yeah, no, I, yeah, that's a cool feature. I would not think to do anything mm -hmm. like that, but that makes total yeah. sense now. Um, so let's talk about color a little bit too, yeah. because you know I watch a lot of HGTV and, and I see color here. It looks like you have some kind of a bluish greenish color in there of some sort, but um, anyway, so color, what should we do You know, when, when renovating um, our spaces and especially a bathroom that might be a smaller size like this? Absolutely. So what I did on the walls was I very intentionally chose a white um, subway tile that varied just slightly in color. Um, I wanted it not to feel flat necessarily. Um, and so what we did is we we laid those and by we, I mean, James laid those <laughs> horizontally. <laughs> I just came up with the idea. He does all my execution. He laid those horizontally. And the reason we did that was because we wanted to draw the eye out. And so those horizontal lines in the back wall create this illusion that the space is longer than you think that it actually is. And um, the flooring actually that we chose here, we went with the color. If you wanted that space just to feel very vast, a, a light color would, would, would do it. We opted for this unique floor. Um, it's a cement floor that was eight inches by eight inches. And it was a, such a sweet story behind it. And um, we had gone on vacation right before COVID really became a thing here in the Midwest. And um, that flooring was in an Airbnb that we stayed. And when we were looking for flooring, we saw it and our kids were so excited that they would, um, that, that the memories from that vacation could potentially be cemented on their floor that we just had to have it. Oh, that's and it was cute. so sweet of them. So we chose a print like that, which really I think um, continues that idea of making the space look longer. We've got a number of lines going in different directions, um, which, which James was really excited about in selling. <laughs> But um, what that does is it, it continues on. You'll see the vertical and the horizontal lines. And so it draws the eye in and draws the eye out. And so really traditionally a very small bathroom has a huge impact and it feels much larger than it did originally. 
Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, it looks fantastic. And I love the vanity too. Um, um, it, it's, you know, just very sleek, like you said. I mean, you've, you've done that with the rest of your home too, or what you've renovated, correct? Yep, yep. And you know, in a small bathroom, if you're trying, if you're, you know, working on a small bathroom, I would actually recommend doing a floating vanity like this because, again, it has that same effect that the niche did, where when you look under, it's like, oh gosh, how deep does that go? I didn't realize this was so big. Whereas if that vanity went all the way down to the ground, it just, the eye stops. But this way, the eye will keep going. And, it, and I mean, please don't look under my vanity. It probably <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, it's easier to clean. It's easy to clean though because there's not right. anything, any right. posts. So yeah, and, and we don't put anything underneath that. You could sure put a basket with towels. I just I I don't like to clean. I think everyone knows that by now. So I don't put anything in there. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. Thank you, James and Melanie. Great ideas. Always get a designer's opinion. I think yep. um, and use your our designers because. Just the ideas alone that she shared. Awesome. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Have a great day. Thank you. Coming up on today's show, why pro shops are starting to stock up on CBD products.